Informing people about popular medications that can destroy the liver is definitely one of the most important videos I can release on this channel as I recently tragically lost someone very dear to me due to severe drug-induced hepatitis. Did you know that more than 900 medications, toxins, and herbs have been linked to liver injury and that drugs are responsible for 20 to 40% of all cases of fulminant hepatic failure? Also, a research reported by the National Library of Medicine reported that more than 2,000 cases of acute liver failure happen every year in the U.S. and 50% of those cases are linked to taking medications or supplements. Drug-induced liver injury, DILI, refers to liver damage caused by medications or other substances. It can range from mild elevations in liver enzymes to severe liver failure and even death. DILI is a significant concern because the liver plays a crucial role in metabolizing drugs, and any damage to the liver can impair its function, leading to various health complications. In this video, we are going to talk about seven popular medications that have been most linked to liver damage. Trust me, I can bet that you currently have the last one in your home. We will also talk about how long it takes for medications to damage the liver, and lastly, we will also talk about 10 warning signs of drug-induced liver injury because with liver, it is always better if the signs of trouble are caught early as that increases the chances of addressing the issue and preventing liver failure, so make sure you stay till the end. But before we jump into it, do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you're not just helping us, you're spreading awareness that could save lives. Without much further ado, let's get started. 1. Antibiotics Antibiotics are a class of medications used to treat bacterial infections by either killing bacteria or inhibiting their growth. There are various types of antibiotics, each with its own mechanism of action. The antibiotics that have been most linked to liver damage are isoniazid, metronidazole, amoxicillin clavulinate, azithromycin, tetracycline, and clindamycin. It has been reported that the way different antibiotics affect the liver can vary a lot in clinical terms. More to the point, a research reported by the National Library of Medicine reported that certain widely used antibiotics, such as amoxicillin clavulinate, have been shown to have a delayed onset on liver injury. While cefazolin can also harm the liver, with symptoms appearing one to three weeks after receiving just one dose through an IV. This is why it's important to be informed to promptly seek medical attention if you encounter symptoms indicative of drug-induced liver injury, as we will mention later in the video. Two. Methyl dopa. Another medicine that might affect your liver is methyl dopa. Doctors often prescribe methyl dopa to control high blood pressure. It's considered safe, especially for pregnant women with high blood pressure. A research reported in the British Medical Journal disclosed that 20 patients experienced liver damage as a result of taking methyl dopa. 16 of them showed symptoms of hepatitis, but they recovered when they stopped taking the drug. However, Four of these patients experienced jaundice again after starting methyl dopa a second time. Two patients showed signs of ongoing liver inflammation, resembling chronic hepatitis. Two patients died because of methyl dopa, with one of them having undiagnosed cirrhosis before taking the drug. Unfortunately, liver issues from methyl dopa might not show up until about 12 weeks after you start taking it, so it's important to get regular checkups while using it. This helps catch any liver problems early and prevents them from getting worse. If you've had liver problems before, talk to your doctor about other options for treating high blood pressure. 3. Anticonvulsants Anticonvulsants, also known as antiepileptic drugs AEDs, are medications primarily used to prevent or control seizures. Seizures are caused by sudden, abnormal electrical activity in the brain. These drugs are not only used for epilepsy, but can also be prescribed for other conditions where seizures may occur, such as bipolar disorder, neuropathic pain, and certain psychiatric disorders. Some epilepsy medications, especially older ones, can harm your liver, but newer ones are less likely to do so. Some of the drugs that can hurt your liver are dilantin, phenytoin, and felbitol, felbamate, as well as valproic acid. Liver damage from these drugs might show up within one to six weeks after you begin taking them. 4. Nonsteroidal Anti-Inflammatory Drugs NSAIDs, or nonsteroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, are a class of medications commonly used to relieve pain, reduce inflammation, and lower fever. Unfortunately, almost every NSAID that has been widely used has been connected to at least occasional instances of noticeable liver damage caused by the drug. 
The NSAID that are most commonly associated with hepatotoxicity are Sulindac and you guessed it, Diclofenac. Diclofenac can harm the liver enough to affect certain tests without showing obvious signs. These tests, called liver function tests, LFTs, measure liver enzyme levels. High levels of these enzymes can indicate liver damage. Doctors take blood samples to conduct these tests. While severe liver damage from diclofenac is rare, the chance rises in women who take higher doses or use it for longer than four weeks. 5. Amiodaron. Amiodaron is a medication primarily used to treat certain types of irregular heartbeats, arrhythmias, including atrial fibrillation and ventricular tachycardia. It belongs to a class of medications known as antiarrhythmics. Amiodron works by affecting the electrical activity of the heart muscle cells, helping to stabilize abnormal heart rhythms. It can help to restore a normal heart rhythm and prevent the recurrence of irregular heartbeats. It's crucial to know that amiodron has a lot of side effects. It can affect different parts of the body like the thyroid, lungs, skin, and liver. Because of these potential problems, doctors are more cautious about prescribing it now compared to before. They only use it in certain situations where the benefits are greater than the risks. Usually, amiodarone doesn't immediately harm the liver. It can take weeks to months for liver problems to show up. 6. Allopurinol Allopurinol is a medication primarily used to treat gout and certain types of kidney stones. It works by reducing the production of uric acid in the body, which can help prevent the formation of uric acid crystals in joints, causing gout, and in the kidneys, leading to kidney stones. The National Library of Medicine disclosed that allopurinol, while uncommon, is widely recognized as a potential trigger for acute liver damage characterized by hypersensitivity reactions, occasionally leading to severe or fatal outcomes. Because of this, it's important to closely watch patients who begin taking allopurinol to catch any liver damage early. Regular checkups with a doctor are vital to spot any issues and change the treatment if needed. Patients should also let their doctor know right away about any strange symptoms while taking allopurinol. Despite these risks, allopurinol is still a useful treatment for many people with gout or high uric acid levels. 7. Acetaminophen In case you don't know, acetaminophen, Tylenol, and paracetamol, Panadol, are the same medication. In 2006, a review study published in the BMJ Journal reported that unintentional overdose with paracetamol is the most common cause of acute liver failure in the United Kingdom. They also discovered that paracetamol's toxicity is the single biggest cause of acute liver failure in the United States. Because it's widespread use, some people misuse the medication. Instead of following the advised dosage for a headache, they might take three pills at once and do this too often, which is risky. It's crucial to stress that sticking to the recommended doses of paracetamol is safe. It's important to always remember that paracetamol overdose is no joke and can lead to serious liver damage or even liver failure. Factors like drinking alcohol, genetics, and taking certain other medications can increase the chances of liver damage. Symptoms usually start one to three days after taking too much paracetamol, with noticeable signs showing up two to four days later. Fortunately, there's a remedy for paracetamol overdose called acetylcysteine or fluimucil, which can protect the liver. However, if you've taken too much paracetamol, it's important to go to the emergency room and tell the doctor what happened instead of waiting, as it's safer than risking severe liver damage that might require a transplant. So, did I guess right? Do you currently have paracetamol in your home? Now we are going to answer the question, how long does it take for drug-induced injury to happen? Research has shown that drug-induced liver injury DILI, can occur at varying rates depending on several factors including the specific drug involved, the dosage, individual susceptibility, and underlying liver health. Generally, DILI can manifest anywhere from days to weeks after starting a medication, but it can also take months to years to develop. Some drugs may cause acute liver injury, presenting within days to weeks of exposure, while others may lead to chronic liver damage over a longer period. Now we will move to signs of drug-induced liver injury. So, when we're talking about drug-induced liver injury, there are a few signs you want to keep an eye out for. One of the most noticeable ones is jaundice, you know, when the skin and eyes turn yellowish due to elevated bilirubin level. It's a classic sign that something's not quite right with the liver. Then there's the nausea and vomiting. If you're feeling queasy and throwing up often, especially if you're on medication, 
it could be a red flag for liver trouble. Another thing to watch out for is abdominal pain, especially on the upper right side. That's where your liver hangs out, so if it's hurting there, it might be trying to tell you something. And speaking of bodily fluids, pay attention to your urine and stools. Dark urine or pale stools can both indicate liver issues, especially when they're not normal for you. Feeling unusually tired and weak? That could be a sign your liver's not functioning as it should. It's amazing how much our liver affects our overall energy levels. And let's not forget about itching. If you're suddenly scratching yourself silly without any obvious reason like a rash, it could be linked to liver problems. Sometimes, you might notice swelling in your abdomen, legs, or ankles due to fluid retention caused by liver dysfunction. It's not just about gaining weight, it's about where that weight is showing up. And if you're losing weight for no apparent reason, it could be another signal that your liver's not happy with what's going on. Keep an eye on your skin too. If you develop a rash or hives seemingly out of nowhere, it might be your body's way of telling you that something's up with your liver. Finally, if you're running a fever along with any of these symptoms, it's definitely time to get checked out. Remember, these signs can vary from person to person and depending on the severity of the liver injury. If you're experiencing any of them, especially while on medication, it's best to talk to your doctor sooner rather than later. Also realize that just because a medication isn't on this list, it doesn't mean it's entirely safe for the liver. There are many medications that can adversely affect the liver, including certain HIV drugs, vitamins like niacin, various antibiotics, supplements, and even some teas. If you want to know about the six most popular supplements that have been linked to liver damage, we have made a video on that, link in the description. Since the liver plays a crucial role in our overall health, any damage to it can have serious consequences for our entire body. To avoid drug-related liver problems, including severe cases like fulminant hepatitis, it's crucial to be extremely careful when using any medication. If you find value in this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos on how to take care of our delicate organs. Click on this video to learn about six popular supplements that can also lead to liver damage.